Hello Year 6, this is Lesson 8 of your two-week writing journey where you are writing a first-person recount in role as a citizen of Pompeii. Today is Wednesday the 27th of January and you're going to be exploring semicolons and colons so that you can then use them in your third paragraph. So today you're going to need a paper and a pencil for this lesson. Before we move on to learning about uh, semicolons and colons, I want you to take 10 minutes and I want you to read back through your work. Do you need to respond to any feedback from your class teacher? Do you still need to edit this paragraph following reading it? Have you checked that your tense is correct? Remember, you're still in past tense at this point. Have you done your spellings? Checked them all. Have you checked your punctuation? When you have done all that and your 10 minutes is up, I'd like you to move on to the next part of the lesson. So year six, I have given you a sentence to unscramble. It came in your pack yesterday. So here you have some words. Um, you can, if you've got, if you want to, do like we do in class and cut up the actual phrases that you've got and manipulate them round on the table to create a sentence. However, if you just want to do it on the screen and write the sentence on a piece of paper, that's fine by me. But remember, you cannot split up darkness came on. It is That is a phrase that all goes together within the sentence. So take some time, have a go at that. Okay, so you should have made this sentence. The flames remained some distance off and darkness came on once more. So, question for you, year six. What type of sentence have you created there? Say it in your head. Okay, hopefully you've identified that it is a compound sentence because it has a coordinating conjunction and in it. And a compound sentence with a coordinating conjunction has two main clauses, two simple sentences, two independent clauses. Remember, there can be main clauses or independent clauses. They're both the same, but they sometimes go by different names. So can you identify the types of clauses? And we have two main clauses joined by a coordinated conjunction. So looking at sem and the use of semicolons, the most common way to use a semicolon is to join two main clauses together. Two, we have here a main clause, the flames remain some distance off, and another main clause, darkness came on once more. And we have our coordinating conjunction. And, as you quite rightly identified, it is a compound sentence. Remember, a coordinating conjunction, we use the acronym FANBOYS to remember all the coordinating conjunctions that there are. So I've taken out the AND and I've used my semicolon to replace it. The flames remain some distance off, darkness came on once more. Now remember, a compound sentence gives us detail, but it also creates an effect that we want to create. And if you wanted to create a really powerful sentence by using a semicolon, it can help you raise the level of the effect. So I'm now going to talk to groups individually to take you through your semicolon work today and then your colon work. Hello, Blue and Green Group. Okay, your task today is that I want you to generate two main clauses that are related and then link them together with a semicolon that you could use in your writing in your third paragraph. So you might want to look back at your plan and remember what your third paragraph is all about so that your sentences relate, you can use them in there. Um, so for example, here I've given you one. Here's the main clause, the volcano erupted. And here, ash and lava descended onto the town. And I've joined them using my semicolon. So, what I want you to do is to do that three times to create three complex sentences using a semicolon that you can use in your writing in your third paragraph. And the top tip for me, don't forget to use your senses when writing your sentences. Now remember, you filled in your, your, your census sheet um, on Tuesday of last week, I think it was. No, Wednesday of last week, sorry, Wednesday of last week. So, pause the video now so you've got your task in front of you and you know what you're doing. Green Group, in your pack yesterday, I sent through um, some sentences, some simple sentences, main clauses that may help you if you get stuck. So feel free to use those if you want to. When you have done that, 
restart the video so we can move on to our next learning. Okay, so now we're going to look at colons. Now, the most important thing to remember about a colon is that you only use them after a statement that is a complete sentence, something that would make sense on its own, that doesn't really need anything more adding to it, but if you added something to it, it would inform the reader even more. So, the colon and what follows it expands or explains what came before the colon. So, for example here, chaos reigned over the city. So, I'm asking myself, why did chaos reign over the city? Because that's something the reader would be asking as well. And you have to explain that to the reader. So I think in my head, okay, chaos reigned over the city because a wall of hot gas was cascading towards us. So, my top tip to you is write your sentence, your starting sentence, and then think, okay, what can I, if I ask why, why is something happening? What is happening? How can I explain that even more? So you've got your complete sentence, follow it with a semicolon, and then expand on the first bit that you've written. So the way I do it in my head is I've got my said sentence, chaos reigned over the city, and I think colon, the colon is because, and then I explain it. So chaos reigned over the city, colon, because a wall of hot grass was cascading towards us. So a little regroup, what I've done for you to help you out, because I'm feeling nice today, is that I've done the start of your sentences, your main thought, your main idea. So write three sentences that include a colon after the statement. So I've done here, Pompeii was a busy Roman town. Why was it a busy Roman town? Expand on that idea. I fled in fear of my life because. Why did you flee in, flee in fear of your life? Explain it. The cries of people could be heard for miles, colon, because. Explain it. And so on. And then if you're feeling adventurous Bloom Green Group, you could create one completely on your own. When you've done that, could you please check through your work? And if you are happy with it, you have come to the end of the lesson. So please remember to email both your semicolon and your colon work to your class teacher at the end of the day.